Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to day three of Thundercats Week on this channel. So last time we took a look at the smaller 2011 figures, and this time around we're looking at the deluxe figures, the much bigger, much more high-quality figures that came out alongside these little ones. So um, here's lion -O here. Here's the lion -O we saw yesterday. And as you can see, they are much bigger. And I gotta say, the face does look a lot better too. It's a little bit less compact. And I guess that's because, you know, these are much bigger figures and they can, you know, work with them a little bit better. But um, one thing to note about these, and this shows how well made the smaller figures were, is that they roughly have the same amount of articulation too. You got your elbow joint, you got your shoulder joint, ball joint there. Now, the bigger ones do have a little bit more, like the, um, he's got a ball joint in his hip there. He's got a, a, you know, left and right, up and down head. Actually, does the, does the small one have that? Um, nope, he just goes side to side. Okay, so there you go. Um, roughly the same amount of articulation, just a little bit more advanced. He's got a, a double knee joint right there, so you can put the leg all the way back. And, um, yeah, these are really, really cool figures. Focus, please. These are really cool figures. I had these on my shelf for a while. Uh, the Sword of Omens looks a lot better because, again, very uh, much bigger than the original or the, the previous one. Uh, still bent, by the way. Uh, that, of course, is probably my fault because I do keep these in a bin and I haven't taken them out in a while. I haven't played with these in a while. Had to clear off my shelf, unfortunately. So, uh, with this figure... He comes with a couple of accessories. You got a compact version of the Claw Shield with a smaller version of the Sword of Omens that actually fits in there pretty snug. And you can attach this right here to this little thing on his uh, hip right there. You just pop that in. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think this thing comes off, which is a shame because when you don't have this on him, you just have this little extra piece dangling off, which is a bit distracting. And, of course, he comes with an open version of the claw shield, which you can take his hand off, hand and wrist, actually, right, right there. There you go. And you can pop this in. Now, uh, one thing I do have an issue with these figures is sometimes these little pop joints or whatever they're called are a little difficult to work with. See, that's not in very well. You have to really, really, you know, force it on there in order to get it to stay and I, I don't think I even did it there so uh, you know that's a one little problem you'll have if you want to you know swap out accessories and pose them and have them do all kinds of cool stuff so we'll uh, we'll try to we'll try to give him the John Cena pose <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll give him the sword of omens at his side right there like he's saying come on come get some all right next up we have Chitara. Um, it is a shame that there are only a couple of these because these are, like I said, very good figures. She does not have many accessories. She just has her bow staff here, which is a proper stick, unlike the one from the smaller figure, which had the consistency of shoelace licorice. But uh, this one's very nice, very solid, and even has a little bit of detail on there. Nice, uh, nice little touch. So she also has the same you know, stuff, uh, head, a little bit limited mobility because of the hair. We'll, we'll talk about the hair in a minute. Uh, wrist joint, shoulder joint, elbow joint. I said those backwards, you know, same, uh, same stuff down here. Uh, does not have the double knee. Unfortunately, she just has a, a re regular hinge joint, I guess, because of the, you know, small stature of the figure. Now, uh, the one issue I do have with this, the one major issue is the hair. It is very big and it's very heavy it's a, it's a solid piece of plastic and because of that i remember having issues with her posing um it's she's not impossible to work with like if you if you play around with it a little bit uh she will work fine but uh she as you can see she is a bit back heavy <laughs> and uh, there you go i had to have her you know, like this in order to keep her from falling over. Uh, one thing I did do when I had these on display a while back is I would put her staff in one hand. I would put her staff in one hand like this and I would probably, I would have her like, um, take a knee sort of like, uh, she's kind of in a resting pose 
after you know a big battle or maybe she's uh scouting or something i don't know use your imagination so i would normally have her on the shelf kind of kind of like this a little bit uh, it does work very nice but uh unfortunately due to the um due to the hair uh her posability is a little bit limited and that is kind of unfortunate but uh it is still a very good looking figure, so we'll uh, we'll forgive a little bit of that. So let me get her into a, a better pose. There we go. It, yeah, unfortunately, that is easy, easily the better pose to put her in. Uh, as you can see, I did have her standing up um, before, you know, just sort of holding the staff. And you, you just got to work with the balance a little bit, and you can get her to do a few poses. But uh, it is very unfortunate that the hair is a bit of a problem. Anyway, speaking of big, bulky, and heavy, <laughs> here's Mumra with the Sword of Plundar. It was called the Sword of Plundar in 2011, right? I, I believe it was. Uh, one cool thing about this is that you can actually take it apart, and it's in two pieces, and you can put it back together. It is uh, a reason why they did this is because they, they wanted to, of course, make it easy for him to hold it. And it does work very nice. It also he it also touches the ground too, which uh, helps keep him standing up up because he is a very big, bulky figure as well. Um, pretty much the same joints on him. Also, uh, limited mobility in the head. Obviously, he's uh, got a little bit of hip movement there. You know, he's got the double jointed knees, ankle. You know, all the stuff he's got. Um, his version of the claw shield or whatever this was called i genuinely don't remember and it's got all these things hanging off of it which i think looks cool it looks like a looks like an evil spider uh now one of the unfortunate and hilarious things about this figure is this you can pop the hell the helmet off and <laughs> he's got this going on um these also apparently come off I think so you want, don't want to lose those and the, the helmet kind of keeps them on but yeah that is a uh, that is kind of a, just a silly thing I think the uh, the figure has going for it we will put it back on so we don't lose the the bandages I think you can you know display these a little bit differently uh, maybe you can flip them over I'm not really sure I, j I don't want to play with it right now uh, so that is the 2011 Thundercats figures the deluxe figures rather they are very very nice they are good figures to get i don't know if um, they're still available anywhere they are you know, you know very old but if you can get some they're definitely worth it so uh that is oh wait i almost forgot mumra's accessories Ugh. what kind of a reviewer am i so he's got some extra hands right there he's got a, a resting hand for his right hand and he's got a grabbing hand for his left hand and he comes with a smaller version of his sword if you choose to have him pose like that so anyway now that is it for the 2011 deluxe figures and uh, i would end it here except they also made deluxe figures of the classic thundercats or rather just these two it's a shame they didn't do more of either series because these are very good figures and uh, these ones in particular are much much bigger let me get lino back in here for comparison yeah there there he is he is uh he's a big boy compared to this guy so uh with these figures uh, a lot of the same joints you got the head swivel you got it up and down you got your hip you got your shoulder you got your elbow you got your hand with a nice ball joint in there um there you go you got a thigh swivel Got this going on, got another double jointed knee, and you got an ankle. So you can make these pose in however way you want. It's very nice. Now, the one disappointing thing about these, and it's kind of a nitpick, but as you can see, they didn't really colorize the joints appropriately. For you know, for the most part, it's not too bad, but uh, for like right there, they could have they should have painted this this color, and for the boot, the the little ankle joint there it's the same color as his skin which is unfortunate they they really should have just made that blue and make it match it's um it's not hugely distracting but it's just a little thing i think they could have done better so with deluxe lion o here deluxe classic lion o you get another sort of omens 
Very nice. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and put that in his hand after I pick it up, after I drop it. So we'll have him holding the Sword of Omens. And, yeah, sometimes they're a little hard to work with, too. Um, eh. Got to get it in get it, get it in his hand. There we go. There we go. Hold that for me, Lino. Very nice. There. So he's got the Sword of Omens. And uh, he comes with an extra hand for his right hand if you want him to have a more relaxed pose. He comes with, of course, a smaller version of the Sword of Omens. And he has the Claw Shield. And with this one, you can actually attach it there. And it actually comes off, which is very nice. And with this one, you can pop it out, toss that aside. Then you take this hand off. And again, these these little things are very, very tight. And they're also very hard to get accessories put on. So you got to really dig it in there. There we go. There, there's Lion-O, ready for battle. Let's give let's give him the same pose as as 2011 Lion-O doing the John Cena ready for uh there yeah that's very nice it's a bit uh, put him farther back so it's a little bit in frame <laughs> very cool next up we have Tigra the only other one they made which is a shame uh he's got the same stuff going on uh same problems too it would have been nice if they made that you know his hand color or painted that orange uh same thing with this one right here uh, but he's got all the same stuff going on. Now, I don't know if it was a problem with this Tigra in particular, but this one has very, very loose joints. And in fact, he's he's his head is constantly hanging in shame <laughs> for some reason because it always falls forward. You see, it's very, very loose there. And the, the hip joint is very loose too. So he's a little bit harder to balance than Lion-O who has uh, much better joints. Again, I don't know if it's this figure in particular or if it was a problem with uh, all the figures in the line, but that is something to note. So with him, you get an extra hand for his right hand if you want him to have a more relaxed. And he comes with two versions of his whip. You got one with its uh, ends splayed out like that. And you got this one, which just looks like a fish hook. <laughs> but uh, what is cool about this one is that you can take the end off like that and you can take the end off this one and you can combine them and he can have his whip retracted like he's getting ready to use it so let's go ahead and give him that and there we go we can have him ready ready to use his whip on whoever is causing trouble this week on thundercats and whoever uh whoever gets in their way there we go a little hard to work with but we got him in the end and uh if you want to while he's holding it you can actually swap out and give him this one so you can have him ready really ready to go they're they're very nice so that is the deluxe figures that came out in 2011 these are really really good figures if you haven't found one hopefully uh you can find one fairly cheap on the secondhand market hopefully it has all uh, <laughs> hopefully it has all uh, the accessories as well um good luck with that though and um yeah they are really cool they have a you know a couple little problems here and there but they are definitely worth getting if you're a fan of thundercats so that will do it for the deluxe figures again they are very nice come back tomorrow because we're gonna have a big video tomorrow because I have what I think might be a complete set of the 2011 toy line. Still, you know, in box and in package and all that. And we're going to take a quick look at all of them. It's going to be a multi-bin from the toy bin video. So, don't miss it. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my other Thundercats videos. Because I got a couple out already. And I'm going to be having some for the rest of the week. And be sh don't miss them because they're going to be really cool. And they're very difficult to film, so please watch them. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow.